Five months after the governor shut down nursing homes and assisted living facilities to family members, questions remain over when these restrictions will be lifted. Tonight, I take a look at how rapid testing may play a role and why some critics fear these tests could actually increase infection rates and possibly more deaths. It's been a long, lonely summer for Penny Phillips. Last night in particular, I was in tears. I, I just couldn't hold the tears back it, because I said this is five months this week. Five months since she's held her mother's hand, sat face to face, or even in the same room with her. I just felt like how much longer can this go on? I'm, I, I, you know, I just want to see her and um, she wants to see me. Pre-COVID, Penny had been at her 91-year-old mother's bedridden side every single day. I'll do anything to, to really, I'll, I'll test, I'll, I'll wear whatever garb they want me to wear. Just let me into the facility and I will, I will be good. Last week, the governor announced he's considering ways to reopen long-term care centers to visitors and created a task force to develop guidelines. While they have yet to meet, during a recent Zoom interview, the head of the Agency for Healthcare Administration, which governs Florida's nursing homes and assisted living facilities, told us rapid testing will likely play a role. That is going to be a game changer uh, in helping to further our efforts. Since our interview, we've learned the Fed started shipping rapid test kits to nursing homes hardest hit by the virus. 471 Florida centers on the list. Excited about the potential that that holds in turning around results quickly. Well, they're sending the wrong kind of tests to facilities. They're sending antigen-based tests. Antigen-based tests only identify those residents who have full-blown symptoms of COVID. Instead, Brian Lee, executive director of nonprofit advocacy group Families for Better Care, says molecular-based rapid tests are needed since they can detect asymptomatic people. The FDA acknowledges on its own website that antigen-based rapid tests, while cheaper, are more likely to miss an active coronavirus infection than molecular-based tests. We've been calling for this for months, and they're just not listening not listening. So it's allowing more people to be exposed and to die. Lee believes molecular based rapid testing is the only safe way to let family members back in. I'll do anything. I'll like I said, I'll, I'll go for testing. I'll go for whatever, but I want to see my mom. Penny Phillips doesn't care what kind of test she may be subject to. She only cares that the days left to see her mother in person again are numbered. She really doesn't want to go until she is able to be in the same room with me again. Yesterday, I asked the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services why it's shipping facilities rapid tests that may not be accurate. A spokesperson told me due to the volume of requests they're receiving, they would not be able to provide answers to us today. Katie Legrone, WSFL-TV.